blacksmith was killed the best blacksmith. The police have one suspect, Mikey. All the evidence points to him. Even though he's my friend, I promise I will arrest him. All criminals should be in prison. Huh? But I didn't do anything. It's a mistake I'm not guilty of. But why JJ didn't believe me? Because he's my friend, and he needs to know that I would never do that. But what am I supposed to do now? If JJ wants to arrest me, shouldn't I turn myself in? No, I'm not going to jail for something I didn't even do. I have to prove to JJ that I'm innocent, but how am I supposed to do that if I leave the house, I'll be arrested by the police? Well, I have no choice but to defend my home from everyone, even JJ. But what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to defend my house so JJ can't get through? There are traps in the house somewhere, given to me. I don't know if they're enough to defend the house, but I have to try. I think the police will come for me soon. I must hurry. Hmm. I will dig a long pit, which will look more like a moat, one block high. When my pit is ready, woohoo! I will pour lava into it, then I will need to set traps. I think these sharp metal spikes will work great, but I think this will not be enough. We also need to put laser traps. Then JJ will definitely not be able to pass. I hope that I will succeed. Hmm. Why did Mikey kill that blacksmith? I don't believe it. I need to know the truth. <gasps> There he is. He's built traps around the house, so I can't get through, but it's not going to help him. Fine. I finished building traps. Now no one can get through this barrier. I will never give up to the cops. I'm going to arrest him, and then I'm going to find out the truth about who the real killer is. Mikey, turn yourself in. Get out of the house. It's not going to help you. If I don't arrest you, somebody else. Let's do this the easy way. Huh? You really think I'm going to jail for something I didn't even do? Someone set me up, and you believed them over me. Now we're not friends anymore. If you want to try and get into the house, but you can't. Hmm. I knew there was lava here. You ripped out two long holes and filled them with lava. But you hid one hole under a thin layer of grass. You thought I wouldn't guess. OK, Mikey, one last warning. I'll never give up on you. You can do whatever you want. Ah! He started shooting at me, JJ. You and I are friends. How can you do that? You and I aren't friends anymore. You'd be friends, you'd believe me. Yeah. Instead of arresting me, you won't be able to enter the grounds of the house. I have set traps from all sides, so good luck. Mikey, do not dramatize. These bullets are rubber. They do not even leave blue on the body. And you hear yelled that you hurt. Listen, Mikey, you can still turn yourself in. You're going to jail for now. And in the meantime, I will find proof that you are not guilty. If I don't arrest you, someone else will arrest you. But he won't find out if you're guilty or not. You have to believe me, please. You think I believe you. You just want to put me in jail. And then you're not going to do anything. And I'm going to be in jail for something I didn't even do. I don't believe you, JJ. You can do whatever you want, but I'm not leaving my house. Oh, if that's what Mikey says, if you don't want to give up, I will use force. I have an idea how I can get you out of the house. I don't want to use a gun, so I use a brush. I'll paint over your house, but without one wall. Then I can easily get into the house. You got the best cop in the world. Even though you don't want to believe me, I promise I can figure this out and prove you're not guilty. But I need you to be in prison, which you didn't think was funny. Just think, if you were framed, the real killer might come after you. And in prison, you'll be under my protection. Whatever you say to Mikey, you've considered my words. Everything you say makes sense, but I'm not going to jail. I don't want my friends to think I'm a criminal, even if I'm released. The rumors will spread in the village anyway. And if the real killer is one of the policemen, and if I go to prison, he can get me there. You didn't think of that. And what makes you think I attacked that black <laughs> Great. Now there's no wall. And I can get into the house. I knew I could do it. Mikey, get ready for me to arrest you. I'm coming. <laughs> you can't do this. You can't arrest me. You can't get through all these... Ah! You still managed to pass all my traps. But you did not have time. I put the wall back. I told you that you will not be able to get inside the house. You can't arrest me. You can go home now because you can't catch me. You can call every cop in the village and you'll never catch me. I said I'd never go to prison for something I didn't even do. I might have given up and gone to prison if it was good food. I know prison food tastes like brick. Not even a brick tastes better than prison food. <laughs> About the food, you're right. The food there is really not delicious. Well, I'm tired. I'll make you go to the police station with me then to prison. If I don't do this, an army of policemen will come and hurt you. 
Well, whatever you want, I'll draw lava from your house. And your house is gonna burn down. And when it does, you're gonna run out of it. <laughs> Great! Now Mikey will run out of the house. It's just a terrific plan. I think you're gonna run out in a panic. Strange why Mikey hasn't run out of the house yet? Are you gonna sit through this, or do you think I'm gonna freak out and take out the lava? There's no way I'm leaving this house. You want to do whatever you want if you want me to burn into lava, fine! I told you I would never go to prison. Oh no, lava has entered the house. She will touch me now. Ouch! How painful! Still, it was a bad idea. I had to put out the lava. Mikey really could get hurt because of me. I shouldn't have done it. I need to put this lava out right now. I'm gonna draw water. This is gonna work. Mikey, hold on a little longer. Try not to step on the lava. Why don't you get out of the house when there was such an opportunity? So, I'm almost done. All right, now put out the lava. But the only problem is, I didn't think I'd have to wait for the lava to cool down and turn into a rock. Mikey, are you okay? Yep. If anything, I stopped the lava so everything will be fine. Don't worry. When the lava is completely dry, I can get into the house and defeat you afterwards. You go to jail. JJ, I told you I'm not going to jail. If you think I'm going to jail, you're wrong. When the lava cools, it will turn into a solid rock and it will be like a stone castle or a fortress. So thank you for helping me fortify my home. You'd better try to prove it wasn't my fault. You started destroying my house instead of trying to help me. If you really wanted to help me, you'd have already proven that I wasn't the cause of the trouble. I understand that you are angry because I don't believe you. However, it does not matter here. There are some clues that point to you, but I still want to help you. I'm tired of these games. I drew TNT on your house, and now it's going to explode and destroy your fortress. Okay, now I'll be very easy to get into your house. You want to say one last thing before you go to prison? Okay. If I can't convince you of my innocence, then I don't have to. I'll just go now. I built a boat while you were busy drawing like Picasso. So I can swim away quickly and you'll never catch me. Wow, JJ, I think I outsmarted you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mikey's going to run. I have to stop him. I'm going to paint the high stone walls and he won't be able to get out. And thanks for comparing me to Picasso. That's great because I brought a magic brush. You think I can't catch you? I'll finish painting the walls and you'll never get out. Are you sure I didn't think you could try to escape? I knew you were gonna do it from the start. If you decide to run away from home, then you are desperate and know that you have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> What? How did you manage to paint these walls with a magic brush? That's not fair! I mean, how am I supposed to keep my guard down with that super magic brush of yours? Okay, I'm not gonna give up, but if you want to try and arrest me, you're gonna have to go through my house first. Ouch! Hello there, Mikey. Ouch! But don't think you can defeat me without a fight. Let's face it and see who wins. I'm standing here on a stone wall. What are we going to do next? We're not going to play hide and seek. You can run away, but you can't hide. I see you've decided to check your traps. How are they for you? Kind of spicy, right? <laughs> I'm the best cop in the area, so you don't get a chance. I just played with you from the start. But now, the fun's over. Okay, JJ, I'm giving up. If I can't convince you that it's not my fault, that I didn't kill anyone, then I guess I'll just agree with that. I would have given up anyway. I just needed time to figure out how to explain it to the police so they could find proof that I wasn't wrong. But now I see it was a lost cause. Anyway, let's just go to prison. I hope you're well fed there. Although, I hear prison food tastes like sand and salt. I hope your plan to try to prove you're innocent is real. I didn't lie to you. As long as you're in prison, I'll be looking for proof of your innocence. Hi, guys. Today, you will be talking to the main suspect, Mikey. I managed to catch him, and he has a whole statement for you. So listen carefully, because he's about to give a speech. Hello, everyone. My name is Mikey. I want to say that I am not guilty, and the cops do not want to do their job. They decided to accuse me of a crime I didn't even commit. What can I say? I will never go to prison for something I didn't even do. I'm gonna fight this until the end. So what are you gonna do, JJ? Hmm, what? What are you talking about? I caught you, and what will you do now? Stop your handcuffs. Did I not button them? 
Don't tell me you want to run. I thought you did. Mikey, why is it always so hard with you? Why do you complicate everything? I'm a very good shot, and now I'll prove it to you in practice. Stand, Mikey. You cannot escape. This is a very stupid decision. Dear journalists, calm down. Breathe in. I stopped and caught the criminal. So everything's gonna be okay. Now I'm gonna go to jail, and he's gonna be there for the rest of his life. All right, screw the criminal Mikey. Tell me why you did it. Why you put on this charade. You could have told them it wasn't your fault, and maybe you wouldn't even have gone to prison. And now everyone thinks you're crazy, and you're even more accused of attacking a village blacksmith. I'm sorry, I didn't think about it, but it's not really my fault. I've never killed anyone. I've either been framed or it's a big mistake. I wouldn't lie to you, but what now? Am I really going to spend my whole life in prison for something I didn't even do? I hope what you said about trying to find evidence is true. The most unpleasant thing is that I have to eat this stinking prison food. It's torture. Come in, Mikey. I'm locking you in a prison cell. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get you out somehow. I need to find proof that it wasn't your fault. I wish I could go back in time and save that blacksmith. If he was alive, you wouldn't be in prison. Okay, now I need you to wear prison clothes, so I'm going to use a magic tassel to paint you in these clothes. I think you'd like it. They are made of natural cotton, very soft and comfortable. I will also ask that you be fed as much edible food as possible. Please, Mikey, just don't get in trouble in this cage. And better not tell anyone I'm trying to figure out a way to get you out of there. Don't worry, it'll work if you decide to give up now and come with me. Then maybe I can prove to everyone that this whole thing was a mistake, but your stubbornness made it worse. I thought you were lying! What would you do if you were me? Just think, there's news on TV that says you're guilty. Listen, JJ, I don't want to sit here. Please get me out. I can't do that. I told you, all the evidence points to you. You can't bring a dead citizen back to life. If he were alive, you wouldn't go to prison. If you have any idea how I can get you out of this prison, tell me. Okay, I have a plan. You know, I really only saved this thing for a last resort, but I think I really have no other choice. I keep a secret artifact in my house that can bring the dead back to life. Why didn't you just tell me this from the beginning? How do I use it? Should I look like Merlin or something? Can I use magic or do I need some weird artifact? Don't worry about any spells you don't need. It's usually a potion, really very powerful. I didn't think it would come to this. It's a very valuable item anyway. You have to come back to my house and find this potion. Then just pour it on a dead resident and he will rise again. And don't worry, he won't become a zombie. Okay, I get it. I'll try to get back as soon as possible. I have to hurry home because Mikey didn't tell me exactly where he hid this potion. But as far as I'm concerned, it's somewhere in the ruins of his house. And I'm hoping the potion chest didn't burn in the lava. I really hope I can get this villager back because I don't think Mikey's just gonna tell me. He's in a pretty desperate situation right now and wouldn't joke about it. Honestly, I really can't believe I'm ever gonna make it. I think Mikey was just trying to piss me off. But anyway, don't worry about the bad stuff. It'll all work out eventually. Either way, he'll be in prison, not me. <laughs> so, I am finally home. But it is no longer like a house. This place is a ruin. I hope that the chest of potions in the basement did not burn down in the fire. <laughs> Bingo, I found this. I've never been so lucky before, but I found all the potions I need at once. Strange, I'm usually unlucky, but something must have changed. Now I have to move and find that hillbilly guy's grave. I don't know if this potion will bring him back to life. I wonder if it's true, and what should I do with this thing? Just throw it on the floor. I have no idea. Okay, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, I'll deal with it as we go along. We need to hurry. Mikey needs to get out of jail as soon as possible. I'm gonna have to go back to prison and ask Mike for advice on using this potion. He said I only had one chance, so it's better to consider him. Anyway, Mikey, I found the potion you were talking about, but you're gonna have to resurrect that villager yourself. What if it's a gun and you want me to use it for you? So, all the cops are cool, I'm taking the guy to the crime scene. He says he can bring back a villager and prove he's not guilty, man. Come on, prove it to me. People will rise again and you will be free. I give you my word. All right, JJ, listen up. This redneck is about to be brought back to life. See, it's a simple process. 
You just need to sprinkle this potion on him and let him infuse for a few minutes. And here he comes back from the dead. So, from what I understand, I didn't really kill anyone. If you want to ask him, go ahead. It's true! Some other dude attacked me! Here, take these diamonds for saving me. Please drop all charges against Mikey. It's not his fault. And anyway, he's a hero! Hey Mikey, not only are there diamonds, there's gold apples and a machine gun. And of course, diamond swords. Look man, I'm really rich, and I'm gonna make a statue of you. It's gonna be made of gold, and thanks again for everything. If it wasn't for you, I'd be dead already. Hey Mikey, great job. We've proven you're a good guy. Plus, you brought a country man back to life, and he gave us lots of diamonds and gold apples in return. We have to tell the reporters how you saved the day. Look, people, Mike is innocent. He proved it and returned the villager. He is not a criminal, he is a hero. 